Hey, what's up guys? In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about how to create this liquid line animation in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. It's gonna be fun, so uh, let's just go ahead and uh, dive right in. So first things first, let's bring our Fusion Composition clip to the Fusion page, bring in a text node right in the text box hyphens. We're going to type in about 12 hyphens for this example, but the idea is that we're going to convert these hyphens eventually into a line. Now let's right click and then select character level styling. And then we're gonna go click on modifiers tab. Let's go ahead and select our first block or first set of hyphens. We're going to bring up the size and then we're gonna to go to the next set of hyphens. Bring up the size a little as well, but a touch less than the previous set. And then we're gonna also go to shading, position offset, and then bring these hyphens up a little so that they kind of fall uh, nicely in line with the, the previous set. Now let's go to the next block of hyphens. We're going to just bring them up a little because I think we're okay with the size. And then let's go to the last set of hyphens, bring down the size and also adjust the position. So the idea is that guys, we want to give this line a nice tapered look. So the next thing we're going to do is to go to the layout tab. Let's change type setting from point to path. This will allow us to draw out a nice path on the viewer. And once that is done, let's change to modify only. Then uh, select all the points on the path, change them from linear to smooth. So this way we have a nice smooth path. And then we're going to use the position on setting or position on path setting to adjust the position of the line. So now with that said, let's uh, go ahead and keyframe position uh, on path. And then we're going to type in zero. And then let's go to the end of the clip. We're going to keyframe again by typing in one. So now, as you can see, this has enabled our liquid line to complete the full path uh, in this clip. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is to go to the settings tab, then let's uh, check motion blur uh, and play with some of the settings here. But the idea, guys, is that uh, this blur is going to help us a little bit later on when it comes to creating the liquid line effect. And speaking of blur, let's bring a defocus node and place it after our text node. We're going to switch to Gaussian Blur, uncheck lock X, Y, bring up X defocus size quite a bit here, and then just bump up the Y size a touch. And then we're going to bring in a bitmap node, place it after defocus. We're going to primarily focus on the low and high threshold bar here. Uh, so this takes a little bit of experimentation to get to the sweet spot, but in general, the closer these points are, the less blur you're going to get around the line, but you also don't want them to be too close. All right, guys, so at this point, just by following these steps, you can see we are already getting a very decent liquid line, actually. Uh, there is a nice taper look, and also I like the droplets, the separation that you get at the tail end of the liquid line. Uh, so this is looking pretty good, and the next thing we're going to do is just to enhance this look a little bit more. So let's bring in a background node and we're going to connect the bitmap to the background node so that we can change the color of the line to whatever color that we like. Now let's also copy and paste the text node. So the idea here is that we want to further accentuate the tail end of the liquid line to give it a more uh, liquidy look. So now let's go to the background. Let's actually project the merge node uh, onto the viewer first. Now let's go to the background text node, go to settings, uncheck motion blur. Now let's go to modifiers tab, get rid of character level styling for now. And let's go to the text box. We're going to get rid of some of these hyphens. We only need about three or four of them. So now let's uh, come to uh, the beginning of this clip. And let's go to layout tab, go to position on path, change that so that this shorter line is going to be sitting at the tail end of the liquid line. And uh, let's also go back and change the size, actually bring down the size and then also bring up tracking so that we get uh, more space, we have more space between these hyphens. Now let's uh, go to shading, go to position offset, push this line back a little so that it's aligned with the liquid line. And then uh, let's uh, come to uh, the layout tab, come to the end of this clip, change position on path once again, so that this shorter line, as you can see, is going to be sitting at the tail end of this liquid line throughout the entire clip. Now on the layout tab, we're going to change the type setting from path to point. So this way we can start to customize the look of this hyphen line a little bit more. Now let's go to the text box and then we're going to right click, select character level styling. Now let's click modifiers tab and we're going to select the very first hyphen and then we're going to uh, go to the transform tab, go to size, bring up X so that it's now a longer hyphen compared to the rest. 
Now let's go back to the type setting and then change it back to path. So this new look, as you can see, is going to stick with this liquid line throughout the rest of this clip. And guys, the idea here is that we really want to accentuate the liquidy look. So now we're seeing more separation and also we're seeing more droplets, liquid droplets at the end, at the tail end as well. Now, one last thing we can do, guys, is to bring in a displace node. And we're also going to bring in a fast noise node and connect the fast noise node to the displace node. And all we're trying to do here is to give this liquid line a little wiggle for some additional texture. So let's go ahead and bring up the scale setting. Let's also bring up seeth as well as the seeth rate setting. And if we were to uh, turn off the displace node, you guys can see how much flatter the line is going to be in comparison. And all this is to uh, give this line some additional texture so that we can further accentuate the liquidy look. All right, guys, this is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. In reality, when you start to apply this, you can tweak some of the nodes, tweak some of their settings to get some uh, crazy wild liquid line effects. So yeah, I hope you find this helpful. And as always, I will see you next time.